yesterday we kind of finished up the... Okay, if you can't hear me on chat, just drop me a message. So, okay. Laggy. Yesterday we kind of finished up this one, the first version of the poster. Uh, I added the details, ironed out the lines, changed Rose's hat. I think if we have the time today, which probably we will, I'll probably play, play a little bit more with Rose's texture because I really want him to look like a snowball. So after the live stream ended, um, so we also added a star texture and all that stuff. Oh, It's actually very laggy, eh? Yeah, see? Oh yeah, it's a play button. Okay, so that's music playing now. So, um, we did the uh, star texture, and we ended it here. Uh, I kind of changed her feet too. So, yeah, to have like a perspective line across. Then after the live stream ended, we did uh, poster number two. Uh, I did post number two, you know, so this is more of like a sunrise view. Uh, so David wanted like a uh, before it was not like it was just like this. So <laughs> uh, I'm the intern. Uh, my name is Kion, and yeah, I'm the art intern. I'm gonna do like the art stuff for the game. So, hi. Oh, uh, it's a regular. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome back, Mac. Welcome back. What's his name? Uh, Mac. That's my name. Mac. Mac. Uh, hey, Mac. Mac. Okay. So, yeah, I'm the intern. Yeah. So. so, basically, we started with this one, uh, with the black and white thumbnail first. And then, uh, we went to draft mode for this. Whew. So laggy. And after that, it's the flat colors, and it's just ironing out the details, making sure everything was good. Uh, Rose head was actually peeking out here, but I actually switched around with it. So all these are like our uh, future characters, their yeah, silhouettes, and yeah. So I wanted to do something with the sunrise, and then we moved on to adding shadow and changing Rose head to looking at the same direction, because I didn't want him to. If he had this kind of pose. Uh, it looks pretty cute, but it doesn't really uh, create that sense of uniform, unity. So I wanted to make, to preserve the idea that they are all together in this. So, yeah. And then David wasn't happy. Uh, David didn't really like the emptiness in the front. So we decided to add like an earthquake thing. And today I'll be working on this earthquake thing. It's actually just a texture over. So you can just get like a Google image or anything like that and just search like earthquake and just kind of paste on it. And what we're going to do right now is actually paint over it. So there are certain details that I think are too much and we'll adjust it here and there. And then there's this light peeking through that I really like that I'll try to capture throughout. So yeah. And uh, we also basically work on Rose's edge to make him look a little bit more like a snowball. I really think that he could go much further with just with other than just a round circle. So we're gonna make him look a little bit more like a snowball with a little bit of frizzle age if we have the time. So yeah, that's basically what we have done so far. So just okay. So just a very quick refresh. This is kind of done. Uh edit everything, you know, iron it out. You know, maybe we'll switch it around a little later when you play with Rose at age again. It's poster version number one. In the mood is sunset, you know, something's coming, or just that star, you know, the idea of that. It's still the idea of, you know, something is approaching, something's coming. This is more of the idea of sunrise. Oh, thanks. Thanks, thanks, Mike. Thanks. Um, yeah, that, 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 that makes me happy. 
So this is poster no version number two. We're gonna do sunrise. Uh, yesterday actually I felt it was quite okay, but today you know after a day you know normally if you do like this kind of thing, give it a uh, a few hours break or just the next day and then take a look back in and you'll notice some mistakes here and there. So I feel like this brightness is not good enough. Uh, it feels like a very mellow dawn, very foggy one. But I want it to be a bit brighter, so we'll adjust that with um, our curves and maybe some hue and saturation as well. Oh, hey Johnson, uh, it's totally fine. We just started, so uh, let me just go through it again really fast. So um, we kind of finished poster number one. Um, this is sort of the view that we're going for uh, a sunset. So we added a star texture, added a little tail because I thought I forgot it. Kind of switch Rose Lake a little bit to the back. Change, uh, no, no, uh, sorry, Asuka's leg, uh, Rose Edge. So, um, this is almost almost done. Of course, there's always things that we can push, but based on my deadline, which is today, uh, I think this is kind of okay, good enough. Maybe what we can do with we have the time is kind of play with Rose um, shape again because I really like the idea of snowball and um, we're gonna make him look more like a snowball. And maybe we'll play a little bit with eating too because I feel like he's still a little bit flat. So that's poster number one. Thank you. Um, this is poster number two. So we started with black and white. So after the live stream ended, I actually worked on this for the afternoon over here. So basically, we started with the thumbnailing first, getting the tonality, the composition, composition, and you know whatever, and getting it nailed down, and then the flat colors. And then before this, it was just um, really um, just kind of like. Um, a bit laggy because we have a lot of things going on in the background so yeah. so it was efforts like this you know the age wasn't very clear but I just want to paste the colors in on it and then I iron out it to make everything look structured and then we added uh, shadows and light to it this is this was kind of the final final already but uh, David thought we could do something with the ground itself so I decided to, we decided to make it like an earthquake thing happening. So right now, uh, if you look at this, it looks pretty decent, but um, uh, we're going to adjust this a little bit here and there. Uh, so when you have a texture image that you are using, make sure you still manipulate it because um, a lot of times, you know, unless you are out there taking the photo, um, the composition itself is not really right. So as usual, my layers are not really organized. work really fast so that's something that I need to train. Okay so right now what we're going to do is actually to kind of um, adjust it a bit here and there. So if you take a look um, without all this effect here and there. Okay so this was the original texture. Let me just show you the original. Did I say that? Hey Johnson, how's your logo coming along? I know that you're supposed to kind of, you're still working on it, but you know, be good to kind of share um, if you have it. Do I have it? Oh no, I copied it. Okay, so I'll just show you what it, the original earthquake looks like. Okay, so this is it. You know, with before it was actually stretched all the way to the top. So I kind of used that the edit transform and skewer distort to kind of push the perspective down because our perspective plane uh, is actually kind of angled you know so I had to angle it and then I just simply overlay it on a color background and then uh, I thought the portion here was a little bit weird and then I thought the scratch marks were too much over here and we'll just continue to adjust it along the way for today okay so basically what I did was I added a shadow Added a shadow towards the towards the bottom and created this uh, darkness here because I thought the light you know if light hits the platform this is below so it should be darker this should be darker too oh I did my shopping actually 
uh, I kind of uh, we have a little bit of Black Friday here um, towards online sales. So uh, I kind of did uh, some shopping just now before I came to work. But uh, I'm quite excited to see how the states are towards this year's Black Friday because I saw some viral clips uh, last year and it was quite crazy like you guys have like a Walmart rush thing you know everyone's like just scratching each other it's kind of barbaric honestly but um, <laughs> it's kind of funny to watch it uh, yeah but I did my shopping online already so it's pretty cool yeah alright so we wait for your laptop to charge finish and then maybe we can just take a look at it alright so after this dark shadow thing so we added this to create to make the light pop so I need to emphasize again that light is not made just by the light itself but by the contrast of it the darkness and darkness must come to show off the light just as light must come to show off the dark you know, kind of the inter contrast I think why was it intra uh, based on painting techniques um, so what was this I can't even see oh it's here this portion here uh, I didn't really like how it was so blurred so I can't really see too much. I don't think this laptop is really good so maybe I'll just adjust the screen by this and wipe my screen okay so alright nice you know when we had the convention um, the GameStar convention the PlayStation had a booth like a really big booth and then they had so many good games like seriously uh, uh, I bought Xbox last time and I kind of regretted it uh, one of the games I really wanted to play I know it's a bit outdated now but Infamous uh, Infamous 2 we actually have PlayStations outside the office so I played Infamous recently I always want to play it because you know X-Men or anything related to mutants uh, kind of appeals to me so yeah Infamous 2 is really good and it's great that you're getting PS4 because uh, I think they have a lot of good games. Um, there's a Japanese one called Blood Rain. I think you could try if you like the horror genre. Uh, Blood Rain is pretty cool. Okay, I'm not gonna open it because it's... I don't know why, it's just freaking laggy today. It's just getting more and more laggy to be honest, so... Yeah, but uh, Blood Rain is a game that I saw which is pretty cool. I think it's out already. And then they had a few other puzzle games that was really good, like adventure puzzle games. Quite excited, and I'm actually thinking about getting one P at PlayStation. But um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Infamous is good. Yeah, I'm yeah I'm at work, but we have PlayStations outside, so yeah, uh, they allow us to kind of play. I think they also have an Xbox, so yeah. So after this, you know, adding the darkness because you know it's really blurred. I add a little bit of specs here to increase the detail because I felt it was a little bit blurred. Welcome Hel Hello Dory. Uh, Hello Dory is my friend by the way. So yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, um so uh, I added another one because I felt like he wasn't sitting on anything, it was too dark. But you know, this this is green much much here, so I can't really see very clearly here. So so I added this instead to create the platform. So right now what we are gonna do is that we're just gonna create another layer and just see how we can tweak here and there. So Just the curves here, so you can go to this little column here. And then just click this. Curves is where you kind of um, adjust the brightness and contrast, but with more sensitivity. Is it like a senpai? Yeah, right. Okay, so um, you can adjust the contrast of it to create the detail, so you can see. So playing around with it, um, my prof who taught who teach it, who taught me the digital painting likes to do a step thing so that you can analyze the whole lighting thing. I don't really get that. Uh, I go with the flow, so yeah, we'll see how things goes. So yeah, we'll see how it kind of matches the thing. Uh, one thing that I'm trying to stay very far away from, like a little bit from, is that I don't want to make this overly uh, realistic because we're not really going to the 3D, 3D kind of route or even like the kind of realistic route so what I'm trying to do here is just to create just to make the light pop a 
little bit more and just kind of um, make the detail slightly more in there. So, our focal point for this poster is actually quite lost, to be honest. Uh, this is still quite clear. But um, this one itself, um, we have to adjust and play around with it. So, yeah. So, let's just play around with it and see where we can go. Oh, you're at bit. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, I wish I was at bit too. <laughs> So yeah, so let's just go back here and see what we can adjust. I feel it's a bit messier actually. So um, let's just clear it up a bit, all right? So let's go. So the opacity is down. This cracks are really unnecessary. Yeah, I have a pretty good bit. Yeah, so yeah, so I agree with you. A bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can understand where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone wishes they were in bit right now. Well, I don't know. It's good to be out bit too. I mean. Anyway, uh, update me about the Black Friday thing. Tell me what you got. Did you get a PS4? And for how much? Because I know it's ridiculously cheap for electronics or anything when it's Black Friday over at States. Uh, really? Okay. Some people like it that way, so yeah. My, my grandfather, because he's Chinese, he used to sleep on the floor with just this wooden block. Uh, I mean, just for his naps, after the naps. And it's something that I think youngsters these days can't really do anymore <laughs> because it's just one wooden block and just put it underneath your neck and then you just lie on it on the floor yeah so my grandfather used to really like sleeping on that so yeah for his naps but for night time he's sleeping on the bed of course yeah. all right so I think I'll tilt this line um, towards the crack so I will definitely try to adjust it so one thing you need to do when you're doing this kind of texture is make sure you don't lose the texture. Don't try to think that, oh, you know, I just, it's the same color. Then you kill all this little pixel thing. Because this pixel thing, ironically, although it's not very good from the front, but from the far, it actually creates the texture. Yeah. You could do that. Oh, okay. Try to, try to find one then. It's like this Chinese wooden block thing that people sit, sleep on. I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but it's kind of like a very zen kind of thing. So I'm going to draw the cracks now. So this is what you can do when you have the textures and when you have Photoshop of course. You can actually cheat and you know adjust it based on how you like things. Make sure you stay very true to the tone. Yeah, so I'm not going to do too much cracks. I think this is almost good enough. So make sure you also see how the cracks go. Because there's of course different kind of cracks, like when you crack a concrete, when you crack, you know, styrofoam, you know, stuff like that. Or you know, when you crack ink. So can you tell me how much <laughs> how much is the PS4 during Black Friday? Because you know I'm quite interested to know how much is it. I think I might create a crack here too. I don't know, let's just see, okay. Yeah, probably this one would be good too. Just a small line across. Mm. Alright, we'll see how it goes. Alright, um this part is really messy though. light coming here and then this darkness here. So for new viewers like my friend Mr. Joshua, um, it might get a little bit boring. Oh wow it's it's really cheap. Uh, I think it's, it's not it's not that cheap here. Oh wow but it's 
not it's not really a very good sale though. Forty nine dollars off. I thought Black Friday would be normally like crazy crazy sale, but for PlayStation it's not that bad. Mm. But it's pretty good. Yeah, forty nine dollars off. pretty cheap, you should get it, and uh, based on the games that I'm seeing, and alright, oh, right, we should go down, right, right, that's good, that's a good idea, but I'm trying to save money, so maybe not, maybe when I get my home place or something, then I'll probably just try, oh by the way, um, during the convention, the game start thing, uh, I tried the Playstation's, um, yeah, yeah, it is, it is, I've seen the gifs, like people literally cro like people literally crawl over each other, like that's just crazy, like just climb over each other just to get it, so it's just crazy. Yeah. Anyway, when I was at the GameStop thing, um, the PlayStation had this like a uh, virtual reality thing, VR, uh, you can go see YouTube about it, and they had this really really uh, some crazy really it was my first time trying it so to me it was quite crazy uh, I don't think it will actually replace like uh, our gameplay I think it's more of like an immersive thing but uh, if you're I think if you're a hardcore gamer I don't think you will be that attached to it because I think it's more like uh, going to an amusement park kind of feeling and then it's just a very good like uh, you know excitement and thrill but as much as you can try to do something with it I don't think I think it's still quite far from it, but you broke your foot. Oh wow, for Black Friday, and and you're and you're like thirteen, twelve. Okay, and you better be careful then, because I don't think I don't think it's gonna be that fun this year either. All right, so just take note whenever you do this kind of thing, when object hits the ground and all that, we have this thing called the context shadow to show that there's weight, because without um, or to show that they are touching, because without it, you know. It looks, uh, doesn't look as real as you want it to be real. So maybe next, maybe for this year I could bring some like, I don't know. I, I haven't been, I haven't been to a Black Friday sale in a mall yet, so I'm not very sure. I kind of shop online, so yeah, I'm pretty safe. So yeah, about the virtual reality thing. So there was this game which is super crazy. It was like this. It's called Kitchen, and uh, I was talking to some of my friends, and uh, they they were like saying that they when they were going to like have the testing, they didn't show anyone how the game looked like. So they kind of just grab a screen sh screenshot from somewhere. But when you play that game, it's really really kind of horrifying. It's not like the Silent Hill kind of thing. That another virtual reality I guess uh, oh, I can't remember what I think um, but basically it was really horrible you're like sitting on a chair and then you're holding the PlayStation controller but when you lift it up to look at it through your goggles it was literally your hands are wrapped like in a rope so it's like literally like you are you are kind of like kidnapped and then your friend is there and he's like waking up and then okay it still goes on for blah 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 I won't, I won't spoil the details maybe if you want to get I don't think you should get a game yet it's very horrifying. So it's just about this crazy bitch lah. So basically you get killed in the end. So yeah. I was told last year I'm not going with my grandmother. Your grandmother's going? Isn't that dangerous for her? How old is she? <laughs> well, okay. But one thing that I need to salute. Salute like the women. I mean, you know, they are really strong. When it comes to buying stuff and you know, when it comes to grabbing good bargains, I think uh, women are pretty good. <laughs> Should have gone. Should. You should have gone. It's pretty, pretty awesome. But, you know, it'll be fine. No, no. You're getting virtual, the virtual world or the, ga the, ga the game?
Okay, if you're going for gameplay, okay, it's just a personal opinion, okay, don't take it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not all affected by it, you know, but, um, just the gameplay itself, I think, it's not, it's not that, um, it won't last, you know, it's just a trail, like I said, you know. So, yeah. so you can see right now, because, you know, the light is kind of spilling towards the, to the bottom, but as we darken it, right, we're actually creating depth, you know, right, we are, we are kind of cheating your eyes to believe that, you know, it's really a hole right inside. So yeah, that's something they can take note of. You know, but, you know, if it's dark, make it dark. You know, like, you know, I'm using black right now because I think it's almost a final layer. So I'm just gonna kill the color itself. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, I won't repeat what's the game title, but um, if you took note of it, then. Do, t do tell your parents first, because it's, 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 it's not fun. Yeah. But after going to, after doing virtual reality and all that stuff, um, I actually found a new interest in life. <laughs> is to actually go YouTube and watch people play with it, because I'm really, really scared of horror games or any horror genre in particular. I'm just, I just cannot stand it. So I actually find it quite thrilling to watch people play it. On YouTube, like uh, the YouTube channel React, yeah. So I thought, I thought it was pretty cool. I, I, I actually really, actually kind of think that virtual reality with the horror genre is kind of a very cool, cool thing. Because you know the thing about horror that doesn't really creep people out, you get to mad a lot. <laughs> I think I think your grandmother has spunk. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. That makes that makes your grandmother awesome. You can get the game. I'm not sure whether it's out yet. Maybe it's out already. But uh, it's not as. Yeah. I'll just leave it to you, lah. Okay. Uh, if you come back and hate me, uh, don't hate it. Just hate me, alright? <laughs> okay. So I think there's a hole here. I'll just create a hole. Cause you know. Yeah. So like what I said before, for first time viewers. Um, the navigator tool is really good for you to see whether it works working or not. So this is a bit black right now, you know. But you know we can adjust it longer. So probably create a rock here. And then you can like reduce the uh, flow, which is the amount of ink, so that you know you can kind of have uh, control over So you see I'm creating the depth free no longer as dark as yeah. so I heard another good virtual reality game is the shark thing but uh, it's like the shark that swims past you it's actually online you can go search it it's for PlayStation 2 but uh, that gets me <laughs> then we're all on the same boat yeah, he will freak out you will freak out that game is but there's another one, um, I can't remember what it is, it, but I, I watch it on YouTube channel React. It's a three level horror game. So um, you go on like the hospital, like this old mansion, and then the last level is carnival. So that was freaky as well. I didn't play that, I watched that on YouTube. I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty horrifying, but it was just, um, because it was released quite some time back, so it would, the standard isn't as high as what it is right now. So yeah. But I still think that normal gameplay is more fun. There's a lot of cool games right now for PlayStation actually. The adventure puzzle kind. And I think those can last much longer than just a trail of a virtual reality thing. So I mean, if it's too expensive or you, you don't think it's worth the money, I <laughs> think you can just go down to like PlayStation. Those kind of like shops and all that. And if they have it, just try it. And I think that's good enough to be honest. But you know, yeah. I'll leave it to you guys to decide. Fifteen, fifteen, seven, fifteen hours. Wow. Okay. Yeah, two more years. <laughs> I think it'll be much faster. But who knows? You play scary games like fifteen hours? Whoa. 
That's that's crazy. What's your what's your favorite? Uh, I I I kind of like this game because you know recently I'm on YouTube looking at horror people playing horror games. Uh, Silent Hill. Uh, the teaser for it. Uh, Unity. Hey, creepy fighter two. Uh, we're making the program in Unity. You can kind of download the game on whitesponge.com and just try out the demo version right now. This is for Stellar Stars. So, yeah. Oh, sh um, so there's a bit of a bubble thing coming out here. So I'll have to go find it. Make the game of Unity. So yeah. So anyway, I felt that the scary game is uh, Silent Hill. The teaser for it. Um, the studio already closed. Uh, the studio stopped producing the game already. I heard. But it's basically a game that is quite creepy and it's really, really, very complex. So if you want to try it, uh, you can go watch it online. Okay, I'll search this. It's quite an epic horror game in my opinion because I feel like a good horror game is one with very good story. Um, behind it, and I thought this was a pretty good story. Yeah, I'm just drawing a picture for the game. That's this. Thanks, Johnson. So, where's the game? Okay, we're just gonna take a short break <laughs> and um, and look at this. Yeah, this this game. Uh, I'm just gonna show you some images of it. Yeah, that's uh, not this. Where is it? Ah, uh, here. Silent Hills, yeah, with the S. Uh, it's a really, I thought it was a really cool game. So yeah, it's basically like you proceed down the hallways and all that stuff. So I won't, I won't spoil that much, but you can go get it. Uh, you played that game like twenty times. Do you manage to solve it? I saw that the end was like really, really bad. It's like really difficult to to finish it. Like you have to like go find the little jigsaw photos, right, for the woman. And it's like literally hit him on the stairs and all that stuff. I'm like, who, who can solve that? Yeah, but it was a good, good gameplay. It's very simple, and it's executed really, really well. So, yeah, let's go back. So I'm adding the little edge here. I'm not sure whether there's too much details going on. Maybe you can just cut it away, but you know, we'll see how. You beat the game by yourself, did you figure it out yourself? Or did you refer to like a cheat sheet? Because that was what a lot of the game that I saw in the online they kind of cheated and you know, look at the whole thing. Yeah, it is. And someone had a premiere. Really? David. Yeah. Someone said that uh someone dressed up as Asuka pyramid head costume. Yeah, we didn't we didn't see it though, but uh, I'm glad that you went to the convention. So yeah, uh, pretty cool. Uh, so Asuka is this actually. Um, I'm, I'm just making it more 3D. So yeah, if you can see, that's Asuka. Oh, there was some guy dressed up. Uh, not as a Korean, but as a big box, and there was some birds on the box. He sat in front of our booth also. Is it? Really? You you solve it? I, I mean like that's really really uh, you have to be really really smart to do it. Like not even smart, you you just have to be really really patient. And I mean it's pretty impressive. I mean I won't be able to do that. Like I would but I wouldn't try. You sick again? Oh, okay. Why are you sick again? Trying to train up for your Black Friday thing. <laughs> train with your grandma. Okay, so I think. Should we add a line here? I think we should add a line here. We should just create a platform here. And just. Uh, I think we should just take this away. So this is a lot of trial and error still. We'll see how things go here and there. I 
want to complicate stuff too much to translate to them. Two days. Whoa. I mean, if anyone played Silent Hills before, or, or just watched the gameplay, uh, I mean, for you to beat it, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Okay, so we're gonna just create the... You downloading the demo? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, we're gonna release it soon. On, we're gonna try on Indiegogo. So if you can support us, uh, that'd be really, really cool. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter too. So just have fun with the demo. Um, we're testing the multiplayer mode right now. So yeah, I played it yesterday. It was it's pretty epic. Yeah, I would say it's quite epic. Yeah, we'll see how things go. I'm just gonna create them a pavement for them to stand on because I feel like about the pavement, you know, things are gonna be weird. So everything's trying to error right now. You playing on Strawberry? <laughs> you mean the horror game or Stellar Stars? Should I kill the shadow? I think I should kill the shadow. Should I kill the shadow? Ah, oh, this is getting so complicated. Oh, you mean on Silent Hills? Yeah, I can get why you do that. Because you really just want to solve it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, it's understandable. <laughs> really like horror games that kind of, you know, respect the, the mood of it, the atmosphere, and the artistic, actually, art design for horror games is really, really important. Because once you get one, one wrong colour, it kills the idea of horror. Because for me, you know, I think what Silent Hill did right was actually, they, they were very focused towards um, the art, art design of it. Yeah. They were able to use the same stage I would call it and manipulate audience to think to feel in a certain sense that when the whole hallway turns red yeah that was just creepy as shit. Yeah, sorry, I know it's, it's a bad point. What Dude I'll just get I'll just go into like the cheat code thing and just get it. I'm like those people with not much patience in life. <laughs> yeah, so that's something bad so yeah. Just give you a clap right now. That's crazy. That's really a good game, I guess. Yeah. Maybe you can try game testing next time. That's the this kind of jobs, right? So yeah. Got really mad. Okay, you shouldn't. Okay, I don't. I know gaming kind of stresses you out, and I know, uh, like, yes, you know, I play 
play games too, unless you get really angry too. You know, so that's not something nice. Trying to stay calm. I know it's very difficult, but I don't know. You were? For the Silent Hills thing? Oh. Pretty cool. That the game didn't continue at all. But I didn't really like how how they. I don't know. I just thought the teaser itself was like a game, but then when you beat it, it became another scene for Silent Hill. But I just thought it could be just a really good game itself in itself just by that 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 stage and that story that I know was coming out. I mean, they could have played a lot with the different characters as well, like the baby in the sink and all this stuff. And I thought it had a lot of potential towards just creating yeah. Yeah. fun is good enough, you know. And the fact that you have bragging rights right now, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's 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 pretty cool. game itself, you know, you could evolve it to the point like it could be like, you know, you the next lap the next installment could be you are in a neighbor's house instead and you're you're like trying to figure out the whole story again through your neighbor's view or through the neighbor's house, you know. Like how the neighbor's house is kind of creepy too and you know the windows and all that scene. You know, there's a lot of different ways that you can evolve this kind of game because it's so mysterious. But then they ended with that guy walking out on the street and like, that's not, that was a kill joy.
brighten this part here because the light's in here. So let's take a light. Ooh. Silent Hills. Um, I thought that was the one that we were talking about. Or oh, the PS4 game. Or oh, which one? The virtual reality game? I thought you were doing game testing for it. Channel here is a bit weird, so I might just try to create a softer shadow here. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so what we're gonna adjust right now is that we just gotta compress the whole thing. Leave the title off because I always make the mistake of compressing. So this is D2 copy, I'm just gonna leave it like that and then it's gonna be quick group. So that you know you guys can Take a look at it next time. You know, we might release the PSD file too for you guys to just pry and just open it up. Who knows? You know. So I'm just gonna take out the typo and then compress the whole thing. This is kind of final copy already with the title out, and then we're just gonna adjust it based on the curves. So go back to your um, here. You know, these are all fabulous things. Uh, my professor who teaches me this thinks that color balance is, is the most useless. <laughs> Thing, but I thought it was pretty, it's still pretty useful, so it's up to you to decide. So I'm going to do the curves thing so that I want to brighten. Uh, I'm just going to make the yellow pop more. Yeah, it's a bit so the curves can help you to create a dark. today because today's Friday. <laughs> TGIF. So let's see. I'm measuring the brightness based on rows. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Contact light? I don't know. I can't remember shit. But it's basically this rim light. Yes. Yeah. And I'm measuring based on the intensity here as well. Because if I go too far, he loses his, his the, the brightness and it becomes literally how um, if you have a very strong flashlight, and that's not the idea of how sunlight is, it's a very soft kind of thing, which can, and there's a little bit of um, second kind of tier lighting here, a uh, very uh, more darker, grayer light. So I'm trying to keep that. So this is just a little bit more. Yeah. This kind of thing actually kind of hurts my eyes because, like, I don't know, I think it's screen too. So I think we're almost done. Um, let's try and play with the hue and saturation. Right? See whether we can boost anything up. I think a bit more yellow would be nice too. Yeah, right. Before, before. 
post-production work actually helps you to create that digital effect that you want. <laughs> oh. I'm going to Korean BBQ later with my friends. If you want to join me, you can just text me. Okay, we're going to one at the Tanjo Paga one. So yeah, at around six. Yeah. All right. So that's about it. Anything else? We're going to just play with the rope. I know. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll relay this information too. We take feedback really uh, seriously. Okay, uh, there's only one space between them. It was annoying to jump off the platforms when there is only one space between them. Okay, I get what you mean. So, like, when there's two tiers like that, let me just draw it out. Since I have to finish up. Uh, something like this. You know, the stage. Is it like that? And you correct this here. And then you there's only one space here. Is that what you're saying? Like, like that? It's very annoying to do that. One space again. Oh, is it like that? One space. Since we're trying to do a lot of adjustments right now, I think David's really trying to push for it to be a bit better. And yeah, thanks for seeing all the good stuff. And I think it's also good to see the bad stuff as well. I think the bad stuff can help us even more in the long run to come with this game. Yeah, the intro, I think, yes, I agree with you. I think it's a bit too... Um, let's see how I'll talk to David about this and see how we can try to, try to adjust it here and there. Uh, I think the intro is something that's quite problematic right now too. Based on also the art sense as well, because I think, you know, yeah. The first one I drew? Okay, sure. Alright, I'll take note of this. And then, um, I'll show it to David and we'll see how. Um, by the way, we, we actually added an adjustment to the jump. So right now, when you hold on to the jump key, um, you can actually jump higher than if you just click on it. So uh, there's a scalability right now to your jump, but it's not yet as smooth as we want it to be. But that will be in the next patch. So yeah, that's something to take note of. That might help you with the space itself. So I'll just show David this then. Yeah, feel free to drop me about your comments. Um, I'll relay it to David. I'm doing the live streaming this week, but hopefully you'll do it next week, and then you can see how the coding goes. Because um, when David does live streaming, he actually like what Mr. Johnson knows, I guess, and the regulars here, um, uh, David actually does live streaming with his coding itself. So he kind of talks about his Unity stuff and all that. So like how he uses the program too. Tell me, um, so maybe you can check back next week again, same time, uh, we stream the same time, all the way to around 2, and then, uh, so yeah. Anyway, it's nice to see a creepy finder, if you want me to call that way. So, yeah. Okay, so, let's see what I did yesterday. So. Okay, I think this part is a bit weak, you know, the edge is really strong. And I might just want to do a little bit of an adjustment here. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. You are. It's the Johnson. Here. Okay, I'm just gonna flatten it again because I really hate to. Okay, maybe I won't need to flatten it. What I would do instead is that I would just. So, whenever you use this little bar here, make sure you press alternate. Yeah, I'm just gonna repeat this, press alternate, and then clip it. Because if you don't clip it, it will affect all your layers. So when you clip it, it affects only the layer that it is, you know, that is arrowed. So press alternate, and then hover over the layer, and then you will see this little button here. Just click on it, to clip it, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna switch to this off first. And then we're just gonna go into this portion here. And just work it out. Yeah. See, it's a bit messy. Hopefully, you guys will see it from afar. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, we'll see whether you guys need a close up of it or whether we're gonna do a print. Because if we're gonna do a print, I'm definitely gonna do a lot of adjustments here and there so to make sure the age and quality is all there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know, the 
slide looks a bit weird, but if you look at it as an entirety, I really feel it balances it out. But um, we'll see, we'll adjust it again. So this shadow is a bit weird, I'm just going to do my adjustments right now. Make sure you're very sensitive to on tools and all that. And you don't. Oh, that's not. Okay, I'm gonna darken this part. If I just iron out the edge. This is what happens when you draw an edge and you do a fill bucket, but you don't kind of close up the edge with like, I think, like a. Uh, Tolerance or something, I, I'm not very sure to be honest. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna address the slides here. So, just drop me any comments you want to make about the game or the art itself, or things that you might want to ask with regards to anything that you're interested in know about Stellar Stars. Or, you know, if you just want to drop a note, you know, talk about your favorite games. I'm totally fine to listen and just, you know, look at the chats. So yeah, if not, I'll be just doing my work. <laughs> yeah. okay. So, um, could we find out, just keep the note and uh, when David is back, I'll just drop him and just tell him straight away, alright?
Oh, thanks so much. Um, we're playing really hard for it. And um, we're really working quite hard on both the coding and the art end to just try to tune it up and make sure things are uh, um, going to go smoothly. Um, I was talking actually the other day to some of my colleagues because um, here it's actually kind of like an incubation center. So we have a lot of different game, young game studios here. So I was talking to one of them and they said that um, you really don't know. So that's so nice um, for you to say that it could be fine. There isn't just isn't any is any right now. True, but I really do think that um yeah, hey, welcome back Mr. Johnson. Yeah, we're just talking about how uh if, you know if you just saw the messages, you know. We're hoping for the best, yeah, that's what we are. Uh, is there, they were like saying you never know. Tell your friends about it, you know, just support. Yeah. Support would be really nice. Right, so right now I'm seeing all this really bad ages here and I didn't notice before, so yeah. When you zoom in, you know, life is really different from how you zoom out. So I'm just trying to make sure um, they are all really well cleaned. So this is like the final stage is more like a cleaning up process. So like what I said, if I have the time I probably will after the stream I guess. I'll play around with the edge of Ro and try to make her look like her, her him uh, look more like a snowball. So, yeah. Ro looks really nice on. Is it? I was thinking that maybe we can make the edge look better. Oh yeah by the way right we have this uh, this friend uh, from my stream who was talking about uh, the gameplay and then he was like saying that he played the demo. He was in the convention. Saying something about his comments about this, so you might want oh, to. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I did an illustration and he kind of verified it's something like this. Oh, like if you're jumping in a space here, like the platform here. Yeah. Oh, uh, like that. I told him about your change of the jump to like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, hi there, uh, Creeper Fighter 2. Yeah, so we'll still be making some improvements to the. To how the stage is generated, so there won't be any more tight spaces. So that will be in the next few upcoming patches. Yeah. So yeah, you heard that from the coder and the overall boss. So yeah, I think that's most likely going to go through. So yeah, so I'm just gonna pin this up, right? So got your message across, and yeah, he will definitely take note of that. So yeah, all right. So let's just go back and just edit. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for saying what we said. He said he will probably make it through in like I'm like, whoa, that's so nice. <laughs> hey, thanks man. Yeah. Hi at once. Oh. Hey, uh, hi Mr. Johnson. Yeah, he was telling me a lot about the Black Friday sale and the horror oh. games that he likes. Yeah, he's a game tester. So that's pretty cool. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Yeah. So if you notice here, you know, I was doing some adjustment and then I kind of like Ro, uh, Ro lost his little texture. We can always patch it back up, it's quite easy to do that. What you can do is just use the clone tool, which is this little thing here, yeah. and then just choose the portion that you want to have. I'm just going to do a large because large and then using the feathering of it. Okay, just going to save it up first, always save your files. This is what you do for the clone too. Alternate click, and then you have this little patch here, and then you can just recreate the texture. Easy. Right. Make sure you don't clone one portion here. Make sure you click around it, just like how I did when I have the brush and the coloring itself. So yeah, stuff like that. Just take note that um, the textures are a bit different. So the texture is again online. I just search snowball texture. Basically, I just found it. Wait, what's MLG? I don't think you told me. Oh, sorry. I I'm still a bit of a noob in this. This is lingo thing.
Oh yeah, Johnson was, Johnson was telling me that his grandmother is going to help him shop for his Black Friday, his new PlayStation. So I thought that was pretty cute. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good grandmother. Yeah, that's a really good grandmother in this case. Hey, who's C six one? Uh, he's a regular. Also. Oh, okay. I'm in, I'm the I'm the intern. So hi, my name is Keon. Hey, uh, welcome back, C six one. Hi, welcome back. Yeah, I'm a new guy. It's the <laughs> it's, not, it's the white sponge intern. Yeah, I'm doing the art, by the way. So, um, here's a little bit of uh what we are doing so far. Uh, I put him in the corner to do coding, so I've taken over the live streaming for this week. Yeah, I think he'll be back next week. I'm not very sure what's gonna happen next week, to be honest. So yeah, right now I'm just doing the art. We have two posters for you to choose from, uh, one and two. So this is what we have been doing for the past three days, and uh, we're almost finished. If you want me to run through what has happened, maybe you can look through the archives, or you know I can just go through it with you if you want to know a little bit more about what's happening. So right now we're just touching up the zoom in version of it yeah. and making sure everything is on point yeah. oh thanks right. it's really nice oh, oh that's so nice a grandmother who asks what you want I think those, those are really good grandmothers right Thanks, C C61. Do you want me to call you by C61? What do you call him? C61? Yeah. Okay, C61. Alright, C61. What does C61 mean? It, 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 does it have any like symbolism meaning or something like that? It's good to get a PlayStation for Christmas, huh? So I'm just going to tidy up it because I noticed how, you know, when I did a few layer, you know, this this kind of weird thing happens. I'm just gonna create it. Oh, you're sending the games with a C. Huh. Are you um, can I just ask where you're from? Ah, I see. because you've chosen a softer brush so without the hardness so we're gonna just make sure the hardness is right oh Manchester England okay I didn't know you guys use surnames yeah that's like first name and second name was it
not fair at all. But, I don't know. What do you do to her? <laughs> That's the question. Alright, so I think one thing that we're missing for all this little mysterious characters at the back is just the contact shadows in between, like what you see over here. You know, these little shadows here, these little shadows here that create this kind of depth. So we're gonna add this along this edge here just to create this into depth. Yeah. So we see how things go, but first we're just gonna iron it out. Her, but at the same time, you know, don't stop giving, you know. It's not, it's not, it's not like the last Mustang on Earth that you need an extra 150, right? I mean, you know. But yeah, do clarify her when she does that. Or just sneakily ask your dad <laughs> to ask. You know, but yeah, it's up to you. Yeah. Alright, this is super weird. Why am I taking stuff in it? sample can be changed too based on your
but I really like Mountain Dew. I think other than I don't know when I go to like fast food, I mean order the Mountain Dew. So yeah, I can emphasize how good it is. Have you tried Kickapoo? Kickapoo. Have you heard before? Kickapoo. I'm search for you. Kickapoo. All right. I'm sorry for those who came here just for the art. So uh, still live streaming of Thor, so I'm trying to get a little bit more excited. a little bit like Mountain Dew, except that it's uh, overloaded with sugar as well. Even I think even more. Yeah, okay, come on. Uh, no, this is not the one that I'm drinking this one. Yeah, so if you want to try, you can try it, Kickaboo. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a States American thing, so if you can drink it, I think it tastes a little bit like Mountain Dew too. It looks like Mountain Dew too, so yeah. Yeah, so Kickaboo. Would you recommend it as a place to live? Well, what I heard from England is that you guys are rainy all the time, right? Like really gloomy and all that. I haven't been to UK yet, so I'm not very sure, but would you recommend it as a place to live? What do you work as? That's the question to ask. What do you work as? It really, really depends on, you know, what you see as life. stressful c61 it's um, I wouldn't say it's uh, as easy as you want it to be but um, there's a lot of good food here um, the meat is not actually great but um, yeah stuff like that it's a bit stressful uh, people work very long hours and um, no matter which kind of industry you're in um, some people do get a good slice of it um, I do think there's a bit of a culture, uh, and yeah, it's a bit sensitive now because we're going through a phase in time where uh, a lot of different people are coming in and our population is just changing, so I think it's a transition time for a lot of different countries as well. No problem Johnson, tell me how you think about Kickapoo when you taste it. Maybe you can do like a sample taste of Kickapoo and then put Mountain Dew next to the side and then you see which one's better. Kickapoo gives me a kick and Mountain Dew is more like an think you're in the, up in the mountain, that sort of thing, yeah. Yeah, so Singapore is, yeah, a bit tricky, you know, to say what, that's both good and both bad. But it's a good place to live in, I think you have to come here and visit first and see, because, and maybe stay for a while, and then maybe you see how things go, because it's very different for different people, I feel. Some people see a lot of hope, uh, an idea of how, you know, the cost of living and expectations of living aside from that, and then some people are just so depressed. It's, it, it happens in a lot of different countries, but one thing I feel of choosing a place to live, personally, is that um, you just have to find a culture that fits you. You know, some cultures have things like, for example, Japanese, you know, the quirky, something that's very systematic as well, very perfectionist, good, great food, uh, the Australians who are very more laid back, and Singaporeans, I don't know, so along those lines, so you see what it is. Although it's not an energy drink, Kickapoo is not an energy drink, but like, from my know. I'm gonna add the contact shadow right now. Right. As I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna do that. Just to create an idea of them. Um recently some of our nightclubs are closing, so we have a restriction of alcohol, uh, sale of alcohol. Uh, I, know, I think you will be quite surprised uh, at 10:30, I think, p.m. So no buy of alcohol after that time in public places. I think along those lines. Yeah, we are quite uh, we're quite damping down the nightlife here actually. The girls, well, 
it really depends, you know, like how lucky you are at the end of the day. You know? You know, even if you go to a club, you know, you may not necessarily get the goal you want. You know, is it? I don't know. Love sex, you know, different things. But you know, we try to keep it. Yeah, I know, right? So. You can find some good parties around, so yeah. I think 10-ish, I can't remember, yeah, but after a certain point of time you can't. And it's quite early timing, yeah. So, yeah. But one thing good about that is that, you know, <laughs> well, I don't know. We have, but one thing good that we have though is very good suppers. That's kind of a good thing to get drunk with, I don't know. <laughs> like we have very good like uh, dim sum, you know, like dump Chinese dumplings and all this stuff. They open like kind of like after midnight, uh, soups, porridge, um, Indian food, like pratas, uh, even sometimes English food, Western food. There's a lot of different kind of good food areas that open up to 12 actually. But still they are a bit difficult to find. So. That's why I'm saying so C61, like what Creeper Fighter said too, you know? Um, it really depends on what kind of culture you like. So I think you really you come down to Singapore and just have a taste of this culture. You know, maybe stay a few months, you know, if you're interested. And then, you know, or just do your research and see how it fits your scheme. If you're looking for nightlife or that stuff, you know, see whether it offers you in Singapore. Because to be honest, I'm not really sure, you know, it, it, Singapore is quite random actually. It's not like, oh, it's really like this. You can see the contact shadow right now, like it adds a little bit more depth to it, and under the multiply mode, just to create the sense of a little bit more depth. Yeah, I think we're almost done. I'm just gonna compress about this together. Let's just take, maybe take the curve now. Oh, thanks. Yeah, most, 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 most Singaporeans here can speak. Just 
put it under like you know, you know like maybe like because I have a like uh, I like to keep note of like sometimes like bucket list. Um, so yeah, so check the check the check the point where you say that I found a hundred dollar bill because it's really rare. I mean like it's really rare. You should visit England sometimes. We like to drink alcohol from nine to six a.m. <laughs> beer, right? You guys like beer, right? Well, it's too hot here to drink a lot of different alcohols. So I think that's why we don't have that kind of... Okay, some of my friends do. But I think for the majority of Singaporeans, I, I feel personal opinion. I don't think we drink that much. Even wine. Okay, beer and wine, right, for you guys. So maybe beer more for states, for Americans, I'm not really sure. But it's too warm. And that's why it's very difficult to drink something that warms you up. So yeah, beer aside. Um, yeah, so I don't think we tend to drink that much because there's no winter here. Like, it isn't cold. Okay. I'm not that into vodka. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Take a time, take a time, Johnson. You know, it's not something that you want to start to lead. Uh, Sambuka. I never heard about Sambuka before. It's too many. <laughs> yeah, it's too many. Yeah, so we don't have the culture that much here. Like, but yeah, it really depends on who you hang out with also, so yeah. I would say, to be honest, I think this part here is really, uh, should be darkened. Yeah, so, I'm just gonna close out the stars and just do it. So yeah, I think it's because of the weather too, uh, that we don't really drink that much as well. It's just, it's too warm to really drink. Um, like beer or cider. If it's really cold, it's fantastic, but, you know, Singapore's not really that much. But it's really good for food. <laughs> you guys are asking me that? What's the log? Okay, it's illegal. <laughs> it's illegal. There's no drugs. You get hanged. Yeah, for that. It's a lot of beer. Yeah, uh, this place is really good, uh, ciders. When I was there, there was really good. So I'm trying to juggle, okay, so just to put a footnote here, I'm just trying to juggle between uh, underage content and uh, adult content, you know, yeah, you know what I'm, what I'm going to. So I'm not trying to go too much into alcohol drinks or drugs, and I'm trying to tame it down to, to you know, so yeah. Are the coppers mega strict in, over in Singapore? Um, you should never bring drugs here, it's number one, because it's highly illegal. Um, we're not open to, we don't have that, you know, legalization of even marijuana, for example, none, none that sort of thing. So, yeah. Mm, and you get caught for a lot of reasons, too. So, yeah, some people did tell me that Singapore is a little bit too obedient and we don't really have that, you know, that, I don't know, you know, so, yeah, but it really depends. I think it's really subjective. Because we are a mix of both Western and Eastern culture, so you can you can just go into like a click and be in a totally different kind of like uh, world, and you can talk about Chinese pop songs, Chinese culture, and it's a little bit different Eastern kind of values. Or you can just you know, and, and it's so, it's so beautiful about Singapore as well, because of being bilingual and the fact that we are so diverse in our uh, different personalities and different cultures and different beliefs. I think that's something that you know you should see as a strength in Singapore, but towards the idea of you know whether we have a lot of uh, we have drugs and alcohol or you know the vice the vices yeah I don't think we're that strong there <laughs> to be honest and, you know, yeah. that freedom To be honest, a personal opinion is that because of different culture, yeah, we are brought up in a different way, and uh, the philosophy itself is a little bit different from Western philosophy. Yeah. We like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, mm, no, it's both good and bad, right? So I wouldn't say that much. To be okay. So this thing is kind of folding up. So because it's a kind of a dimension here. Increase the darkness to create the sense that it's really full. So then, maybe I should have done it later to show you guys the before and after the words. So I'm just gonna clean it. Before, after, 
literally they spend like midnight eating, you know, all the stuff, 3 a.m., 4 a.m., right? just eating all the way. All the different kind of delicacies that we have in Singapore. So I thought it was pretty cool. Maybe if you come down, you can try and find this food tour. It's like, I don't know, just just go look around. I think you, you can find it. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, so I'm almost done with this.
player, so <laughs> I'll kind of like write, like you know, you should have done this, you should have done this, and then I got banned. Then after that, after I got started again, I was like, okay, I, I, I won't do this anymore, and I stopped, and I became a really good player. Yeah, story of my life. Yeah, but I've not played for quite some time, so yeah. We're just gonna add some definitions here. Yeah. And maybe add a hole here. I think it'd be good to create this sense of like. You can tell I'm moving quite slowly today, so yeah. Because it's almost ending, so yeah. Okay, I feel this is quite blurred. Oh my god, Patch is super fun. You know 
League of Legends don't have that player, that's that character. Uh, Blitzcrank is one, but I think Punch is so much better. I mean, uh, the Rampage is just greedy after you get fed. Okay, so basically this is what we did. Done after you finish the flat colors. So 
this has already a little bit in it already. So, you know. okay, so after this, yeah, four more days. Yeah, after this, you do the lighting for it, and then adding textures and all sorts of things for the lighting. You know, just stuff like that, creating that element of uh, sunset.